Apple have just wrapped an event in the Steve Jobs Theatre showcasing services. It was all about services, no hardware, of which there were five things. That, let's talk about them. The first service they talked about was Apple News Plus, uh, which is just an upgrade from the Apple News they've got at the minute, which takes all curated news that you think you like from around the internet and presents them to you based on subjects that you like and have read about in the past on Safari and in Apple News. They brought back similar kind of feature to what they used to have years ago, remember this? Well, it doesn't look like that, thankfully, but they have brought back a news stand-esque kind of feature, but instead of paying for news papers and magazines, instead of buying one subscription after another for different magazines, now you can just pay $9.99 and have them all, up to 300 magazines, apparently, for you and your family, there, ready to read every month or every week of every new release. It is pretty cool, but we did expect it because they did buy a service last year, and there are apps out there that do a similar kind of thing anyway, but this is made for Apple. So, what does that mean? Well, basically, things are going to look smooth and different. It's not going to just be scanned images of magazines. It's going to be made specifically for Apple devices, for iOS devices, so it'll look great on your iPad, your Mac, um, and your iPhone, of course. And an iPod Touch, if you've got one lingering around somewhere, it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow smooth. There's going to be pages turning. There'll be in-screen videos instead of just pictures. And pictures might animate slightly as well and they'll scroll over nice and it'll all look smooth and buttery and lovely and just what we'll come to expect from Apple. Announcement numero dos uh, was the Apple card, which was pretty funky and I think this is the one thing I didn't expect from all the leaks and all the rumours. It's a bank within Apple, basically everyone's using the Apple Pay, they're expected to hit 10 billion purchases on Apple Pay since it was announced. Uh, and it made sense, I suppose it was odd that not many people seen it coming, but it makes sense that Apple would have their own bank account, right? Why not? The richest company in the world, we're using their services to pay for things anyway, why not just have an Apple bank? The exciting part about it was you get 2% cash back if you pay for things with your Apple Watch. I don't have one, so it doesn't bother me, but I imagine a lot of people who don't have one, but who are both feeding the Apple system, may just go out now and get an Apple Watch because, hey, you're going to earn money by using it to pay. It pretty much pay for itself after a few purchases. And you get 3% 3 cash back on everything that you buy directly from Apple, whether that's through iTunes or the App Store or an actual physical Apple Store, then you get money back. Most exciting part of it, I think, is probably the fact that they announced an actual card to go with it. So it's not just doing Apple Pay on your phone, you will have an actual Apple card. And the Apple card is meant to be more secure than anything else. It doesn't have any numbers, it just has your name, which is engraved onto the card. Uh, there's no security code on the back, there's no account code, security code, uh, there's no eight, um, 16 digits across the front, nothing. It just has your name, an Apple logo, and a chip. The card is titanium, which is freaking cool. It's just cut from a single piece of metal with a chip in it, and has your name engraved on it. And of course, I want one, because that looks pretty cool, and baller, and such. Announcement number three is Apple Arcade, which is kind of cool, but it's a bit overshadowed by what Google did. They were a, but with Apple Arcade, it's basically s select games from the App Store, which are good, ten dollars a month or nine ninety nine. I do apologise, and you can play all the exclusive games that they have on there, and without paying any extra. So you're not paying a subscription, you're not paying to download the game. There's no adverts, there's no in-app purchases. It's just gaming for $9.99 and with both the, both the Apple News Plus and the Apple Arcade you're only paying once so for your family it's got family sharing and you're not paying an extra you're not paying 15 if you want to share a family you're still paying $9.99 which is pretty cool I like that smooth move Apple number four Apple TV channels now I missed a bit of this it's a bit vague uh, but basically you're just going to pay for what you watch so it'll bring streaming services together on Apple TV and on your phone through the new, updated, fresh and rather suave looking Apple TV app. So you just pay for what you watch. Apple TV channels is more of a competitor towards subscription based TV through cable. Uh, but instead of just paying for bundles of TV, you're only paying for what you actually watch. So again, a little bit vague in the details here, but 
you'd be able to get things like HBO, Comedy Central Plus and things like that, but you're just paying for what you're watching rather than buying a bundle of TV packages as you see with Virgin Media and Sky, etc. And I imagine to say in America, you just get like the big bundle or you get the sports bundle, uh, the entertainment package of the films or whatever it is that you get. Um, this is just pay for what you want to watch. So again, this is going to disturb the industry a little bit with, as far as cable and Sky go because what are they going to do to compete? We'll have to wait and see. Fifth and final announcement was Apple TV Plus. Now it does seem like a lot of these, oh, I mean two of these subscription things are Plus name now, which is probably why they got rid of the Plus name from the phones and went to the Macs, so you can use Plus here. It seems a bit daft that they've got Apple Arcade, Apple News Plus and Apple TV Plus. Couldn't they have come up with some kind of you know, Apple Games Plus or, or something like that, rather than, I don't know, whatever. But Apple TV Plus is the one that we've, we've heard all the rumours about lately, is their competitor towards Netflix. They didn't really market it at that though, they were quite clever with it. This team is a lot more, a lot bigger than what Netflix is. This is all going to be all original content. So this is Apple's dive into TV. Uh, they had some pretty big names on, on there, but they got a bit boring with all these people coming out on stage and talking about the shows and it's a bit fake, a bit cheesy and uh, just get to the service. This is coming to America in the fall, as most of them are. Um, it really bugs me. Things like Apple News Plus is coming to the States in May, but it's coming to the UK in the fall. Um, the Apple Card, there was no date for the UK, but it's coming to America in the fall. Um, and it's, I, I hate vague. Give me a date, give me a time. Give me some specific details. I want to know when it's coming. I want to mark it in my diary. I want to know everything. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you if you liked it. Um, and subscribe for... Please subscribe if you want some more tech news and reviews in the future, as well as some more videos from me. I promise this is getting better all the time. And if you haven't already, please vote on my logo. I want to give... I want to... I want to... Mm. No. Keep watching. Thanks for watching. Share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to. Blah, 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 blah.